we don't know if we will ever have a vaccine. And if we do have a vaccine, we don't know how effective it will be. There are good reasons to suspect that if it is effective at all, it won't be completely protective and it may not stop the epidemic. And it certainly will be difficult to vaccinate older people who need it most. The good news about this epidemic is we know how to contain it. The Eastern Asian countries that experienced SARS took it very seriously from the very beginning. And they did the three things that every public health official identify those who are infected, not by a test, but by symptoms. Contact trace. Find out everybody who's been exposed to that person for the past 10 days. And then forcibly isolate those people individually in separate facilities for 14 days past exposure. You don't need to test. You isolate everybody who has been exposed and you contact trace. So you don't need a vaccine and you don't need a drug to control it. What you need is good governance, a strong government, and a very efficient public health service. You have an equation for how infectious the world around you is. Could you share that with us, please? What people want to know is how likely I am to get infected. This is for an inside, when you're in a a space with other people. Outside, you maybe divide the whole thing by a factor of 10, right? But the probability of getting infected is the time you're in a space with another human being divided by the distance. So the longer the distance, the lower the chance. Times the number of people in the room. So the more people, the more chance somebody's going to be infected. Times the number of people without face masks because that's a higher probability of getting infected. So it's a very simple equation. This is an excerpt from Biz News Radio. Get the full interview by downloading our free app. Search Biz News Podcasts on the Android or Apple App Store.